Good morning, this is Mrs. Heisenbuttle, and today we're going to be trying to make a simple nameplate. So I'm just going to kind of walk you through the basic idea of it, knowing that you will all put your own little spin on it to make it better for you. So we are going to start with a rectangular sketch. And notice once I pull it, it comes out 2.6 by one inch, two enters solves that for me. And then I'm gonna go over here to my fillet tool on the sketch, tell it where, what feature I wanna fill it. And notice down here it gives me 0.25, but I really just want 0.2, enter, and I have to do that four times once for each corner. Okay, so now as you can see, I've got a nice little rounded rectangle. I'm going to put a hole here, so it's kind of like a luggage tag. So we're going to put a circle, and we're going to make our circle here. And we're going to make the circle about 0.2 in diameter, so not very big. And I'm going to grab my little thingy and align it there. There, perfect. So it's pretty much lined up the way I want it. Now I'm going to copy. So I'm going to get out of everything I'm in, which it's not working. What's going on here? Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to do a quick um, copy and paste, which would be a highlight it, control C, control V, which should allow me to paste that exact same sketch over here. So as you can see, I now have two of them, which I'm thinking, no, that's right. Okay. They're slightly different colors, but that's okay. So now that I have two of them, I'm going to do an offset. And you're going to see that we haven't done any offsets before, but we're just going to do it under sketch all the way over to offset the sketch. We're going to click where we want to do the offset. And notice I can grab an edge and pull in. So before I cl click the little green check mark to OK it, I'm going to make it 0.06 and hit Enter. And now you can see that I've got this offset here. So next piece is I'm going to extrude everything. So I'm going to extrude this main piece, 0.06. And then I'm going to also extrude the offset. So I'm going to zoom in here so that notice I'm extruding the outside, not this inner piece, just the outside to 0.06. Hit enter. And now when I go look at it from this view here, we'll zoom out a little bit. Yeah, it's all right. So I'm just using, I press down on my scrolly wheel to pan. So now, as you can see, I've got my offset here. I'm going to go and hide my sketches so you can see a little better. So now I can grab this guy here and I should, whoops, be able to move him. Assuming I grab the whole thing and not an edge. There it is. Now I can move it and I just want to slide it up and on top. Now there are two ways to do this. Either you can take a look at the front view, notice that's not right, or I can look at the top view and make sure it's perfectly lined up and exactly where I want it from the top view. Then I can go to the front view here and move it straight down, but notice I can also move it side to side so this ends up kind of being a guessing game. The other thing that I can do is I can go to my home view, I can select this, click shift on the keyboard, select that, and I can use the align tool. And the align tool is nice because then I can line them both up that way, and I can line them both up there and there, scooch everything down, and 
I can also, if I zoom out here, you can see it, I can also line it up here. So now they're both in the center or they're both at the bottom. Either way is fine. Um, I like doing it this way because it works really well for me. But notice now they're not at the top where I want them, but that's okay. So I'm just going to OK it, select them both, and go ahead and move them straight down. So I'm just going to grab my arrow and type negative 1. Whoa, way too far. So we'll come back and put negative 0.8. Negative 0.5. No. Um, there we go. So, oh, we're getting closer. Oh, so let's do negative 0.26. Almost to 7. There we go. So now it's on the board where I want it. The problem is, is that they're both, in, one's inside the other, as you can see. So what I'm going to do is just click and try and just get that outside piece and then bring it up 0.06. And see, it's trying to go down, so I'm going to have to make that negative point, oops, point oh six, And that should, nope, didn't bring it up enough. So double would be a uh, point, well actually it would be 1.2. Ah, but it's going in the wrong direction. That was my problem, so let's undo that. So then I'm going to select it, move, and I'm going to click this way and go up 1.2. Way too far. So we'll go 0.12. Mm. Again, too far. So let's go with 0 0.06, which was my first number. Really? There we go. 0 0.06. And see, now it's perfectly set up so that it's touching and everything's exactly where it's supposed to be and there's nothing hanging off either side. And I'm just using my view cube here and then I'm going to right click and orbit to make sure that I can see everything that I want to see. It all looks good, so I'm going to go ahead and home view, and then I'm going to select both pieces, and I'm going to merge them. By going up here to my combine menu, there's my merge, click, click, enter, and that should be, so click, and click, enter. There we go. So now it's all one piece. So when I grab it and move it, it's all moved together. And notice there's no line there anymore. That line is gone because now it's all one whole piece. So once I get that part, and that's actually the trickiest part, I'm just going to go up here to the top view and I'm going to add some text because obviously what's the point of doing this if you don't get to put your name on it, right? So I'm going to click to add some text and I'm going to type a name. And I'm just going to use my name. And I'm going to go ahead and select a, oh, I don't know, let's do, I like the curly ones, like the ones that look like handwriting or brush script. I like those too. So there's the brush script. But notice it's pretty small, so I'm going to make it like 0.6. We're going to see how big that is. Now see if I grab this red one. Here, I can kind of move it around. It's still pretty small. So I'm going to hit OK. And then I should be able to come over here and move my text, grab my center, put it where I want it, right there. So now it's going to print my name all nice and pretty. And I'm going to go here. So I'm just moving it a little bit. In fact, doing this for a home view is probably your best bet. And so now when I click on the letters, I should be able to come down here to extrude text. And I'm going to extrude it up 0 0.06 because that is going to give me, so it'll end up being exactly the same height as the little rim that goes around it. So I'm going to hit enter. And once again, I'm going to go over here and hide my sketches so I don't have to look at it. And there it is. And now it's ready. See, it's extruded up slightly. Now it's ready to go ahead and 3D print it. So first thing I'm going to do is go save it, and I'm going to save it to my computer. And I'm going to go ahead and give it a name. 
pops up, I spell my name right. Um, name block, and I'm going to make sure it goes on to my U drive, or I guess I could call it name badge. It's not really a block, it's more like a badge. So I'm going to hit save, then I'm going to go back and I'm going to export STL, find, combine all objects so that everything ends up being together. Hit OK, and Maya's name badge final. Now, the one thing you need to be careful of is that your letters are actually touching your, your physical item, and mine are. But you have to be careful because if you accidentally extrude your letters in the wrong direction or they're above the plane, then it will not extrude correctly. It's going to try and print them out in the middle of nowhere. So make sure that you get your name on there. And now that you have your STL, you're going to go ahead and give me your STL which is how we are going to go ahead and print those.